Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 Mod Reviews. Today we are looking at the M1911 Wars Standalone Weapon by Antisar. This mod adds the Colt 1911 to the game with a myriad of options for customization. There's been a handful of 1911s in Fallout 4, but I've never seen one with this many options. This weapon has a ton of beautiful models and textures, and you'll see what I mean when I say a ton, and is currently only available on PC as of recording. Hopefully there will be a port to Xbox soon. This mod is fully added to the level list and can be found on vendors or enemies, and features fully custom animations for unequipping and equipping, as well as reloading. and also sprinting. This mod also features custom animations if you have a foregrip attached. Or if you choose the option to have a knife in your offhand. As you can see, it switches the melee with a knife attack. The base stats for the 1911 are as follows. Keeping in mind that my character is a little bit of a higher level, the base damage is 44, it shoots 45 rounds, has a fire rate of 57, a range of 179, an accuracy of 52, a weight of 2.4 pounds, and a value of 76 caps. Now let's take a look at some of the modifications available for the 1911. For receivers, you have the standard lot of receivers, standard light frame, heavy frame, calibrated, hard and powerful, automatic, automatic piercing, hair trigger, hardened automatic, calibrated, powerful, hardened piercing, advanced, powerful automatic, and advanced automatic. For barrels, the inclusion of glow sights is actually linked to the barrel, so for every option you will also have the option to add glow sights. So we have short, standard and long barrel, each with the option to add glow sights to it. You can actually add a stock to this pistol, so that you can have no stock or the skeletal stock. For magazines, you have the 7 round, 10 round, and 25 round magazines, each with a quick eject variant. For sights, you have the iron sights, vintage flashlight, Vintage flashlight with built-in iron sights, the reflex sight, circle, and reflex sight dot, the LPC laser sight, and the LPC laser sight with built-in irons. For muzzle, you have the no muzzle option, cuts compensator, muzzle brake, can suppressor, and Osprey suppressor. For your under barrel, you can choose to have no under barrel attachment, the offhand combat knife, and the vertical foregrip. And finally, for materials, you can have blued, stainless, stainless and wood, two tone, and two tone and wood. Alright, guys, as you can see, we've kitted together a pretty crazy looking 1911 here. Let's go test it on some death claws. Well, as you can see, a fully upgraded 1911 puts up a pretty good fight against the wildlife of the wasteland. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to check the mod out, it'll be linked in the description as always. And if you liked the video, drop a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing to see every mod review I do in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.